Today, like a typical day at the Asian Unit, my partner and I, Dave, will go up to Gold Coast. We've got a Japanese festival where we'll just mingle with the community and, and let them see our face and let them see that the police are out and about. I'm proud to be a Queensland police officer. If it's your first time settling in, in Australia, there's no reason that you won't be able to become somebody here. I think it's what you make of it. I was born in 1974 in Ho Chi Minh City. I think I was about six years old when my father escaped and I believe the reason is to give us a better life. My memory of the boat trip was that it was very long and I felt scared most of the time. We got rescued by an oil rigger from Thailand. From there we came to Cairns, which is far north of Queensland. But we were one of the first um, Asian refugees to go up north and at the time I felt like I'm in two worlds. I was a quiet and withdrawn child initially but later once I learned the language I just embraced it. When I decided to join the police my friends admired me for doing something that's daring and different. Carrying a gun, I've pulled it out twice in my whole 14, 15 year service, but luckily never had to shoot anyone, touch wood. In the Asian unit, there's four police officers working there, that's including myself. What's rewarding is I can use my language skill, being Vietnamese, I have helped a lot of my community members. I find that Australian people are very open, they're very happy, they're tolerant, warm-hearted people. But my job can be demanding. I try not to let the job affect me because all I deal with is problems. I get away from it all by doing Kung Fu because it's physical. It lets me release all my frustration at the end of the day. Kung Fu not only is the hard side, it's not about fighting, it's also about way of life and the principles that it teaches you. I've always lived by do unto others as you would do unto yourself and that's what I've learned since I was young and I've never gone wrong or when I face obstacles it always seems to turn out. I'm actually proud that I've joined and become who I am. I think I did it with my own skills and determination, not any special treatment. There are people who look at me and admire my achievement, others even are jealous. I want to prove that I've worked my butt off to get to where I am. You can never stop being a police officer even when you take your uniform off at the end of the day. It doesn't mean, however, that your life is hindered by rules and regulations. So I love going on a motorbike with my partner. I prefer the Australian guys to the Asian guys due to their just honesty and you feel a lot freer. I love dancing, I love going out, socialising, but I'm always mindful of my behaviour and my action because my responsibility and my conduct is always at the forefront. Being of Vietnamese background, I have a big family and we like to get together and eat Vietnamese food. I catch up with my parents and family in that way. These are the things that I do to keep in touch with my culture. My values are based on Asian values as well as Western. I think I've grown up to be quite an independent woman. I'm no longer unhappy with myself. Looking in the mirror, I don't see, I wish I was white. I'm proud to be Vietnamese but Australian. I think I'm very blessed. I cannot ask for anything better.